Hi guys, welcome back to Being Terry. Today I have Patricia and Martin Hi. and and, <laughs> and they're going to be helping us with defining friendship. So stay tuned. My first question is, what is friendship? What is friendship? This is friendship. Define your okay, define, how do you define friendship? Okay, uh, I'll start first by saying for me friendship is having someone that you can express yourself with, you express your feelings, you share similar interests, mm -hmm. you know, it's friendship for me, somebody you can call, you know, when you need that mm -hmm. that phone call, you know, in these times like you need that for not only phone call but Somebody who's gonna be there for you Absolutely. through like the hard times, the good times, like through everything. A friend that will be there to support you. Not only are you supporting their dreams, but they also support you. It's like, like a so give and take. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, talking about that, I think we also need to like talk about the whole give and take in a friendship. But yeah, yeah absolutely. How would you define um? um I think friendship is you can def like she says a lot mm -hmm. of things that's friendship, but I also think friendship is. I don't have to be calling you every time also mm -hmm. to define the friendship. I can mm -hmm. go for one week and not like, oh, mm -hmm. she's thinking about me. Mm -hmm. I don't That's like that either. Like. So I don't have to be on your key call every five minutes, every second day. I don't do it. Don't do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> so I can go for, let's say, a week without talking to you, but I know there's friendship. Mm -hmm. So friendship is knowing that there's always that one person that when mm -hmm. I need them, they will be there. Mm -hmm. That's me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, it's a matter of having that somebody that you can open up to connecting with connect with share similar interests Absolutely. and also just somebody to be fun with you know yeah you can't all be serious like there should be balance in the friendship mm -hmm. there should yes. be a serious mm -hmm. one there should be someone who like brings life to the party you know? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. so the next question is why is friendship important what does the bible say about friendship friendship the was there about friendship Friendship is very important because there's a scripture in the Bible that says two are better than one. Mm -hmm. On my own, I cannot get there in life, you know, like I need friends. I need a friend. Mm -hmm. Even Jesus had I friends. I yeah, yeah, even Jesus I had friends. So mm -hmm. he's also an example to say you need friends. Like he had 12 disciples, but he had an inner circle within the 12. <laughs> They were those three, you know. So mm. for me, I feel like I believe like friendship is very important. Mm. I need you. You need me. We only need Yes. Yeah. See, I wanted to say that. <laughs> I wanted to say I need you. You need me. Yes. I was thinking about it that human beings. I mean, God created people for fellowship. God created yes. people for communion. Yes. So I think that also ultimately explains why as people need each other. Sure, yeah. And you can see how God also pursues friendship with. With the children, yes. you know, so I think it's really important because Even we are born to be in yeah, yes. we're and not isolated. Really. And I also think now that you say, What does God say about friendship in Babu? He even said to Abraham, I am your friend. Mm. Yeah, is that imagine God saying that to Abraham? How did you feel? Mm. So, how do you guys choose your friends? And how can you give advice to other young kids out there so that they know how to go about, you know, making such decisions? Because I feel like it's a great decision to make. Yeah, it is. Like, friendship, you know, it's, it's like a defining factor also to your destiny. So, yeah, like, how do I choose friends when I start friends? How do I choose my friends? Well, I get to know them. Then I look at things like your character. How's your character? How are you around people? Not me, but how are you around other people that are not me? Because mm -hmm. the way you act around other people that are not me, mm -hmm. that's who you are. And your attitude, did I say attitude? No. You said your yeah, attitude. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Your attitude. Mm -hmm. And just basically how you are as a person when I am not there and I'm just watching you over there. Mm -hmm. But then when I get to know you, when I see you, not what I... Mm -hmm. I consider a friend, I just move myself away because mm -hmm. then the more longer you stay, the more you also, what's it, bad, what, corrupt, bad? Bad company. Bad company. Cor company. Yeah, so if the person is bad for me, the more I hang out with them, I'm going to get some of that badness from Absolutely. them and I end up, they drive off on you. Mm -hmm. So when you see that, you just remove yourself from it. That's how I choose my friends. Mm -hmm. How would you say? Yeah. How do I choose? Not so far off from her answer, mm -hmm. but I would say how I choose my friends is mostly based on 
Like there are certain principles that person should have. Like yes. for example, yes. we can't be friends if you lie. Like <laughs> yeah, it's just not gonna work. Mm. We not to say I can't be friends with a non-Christian, but sometimes having somebody, a friend with a similar faith um, interest, interest it, mm. it makes it easier. Yes, I can mm. I associate myself with um, other religions, but having something like the level ground to say, okay, we are both Christian or mm. we are both Jewish or whatever you are, but you have the same faith interest, faith level, mm -hmm. you know. So for me it's that also trust. Can I trust you? Can I yes. trust you yeah, to tell you like my deep down secret or something like mm -hmm. that? Can I trust you to share with you what I'm going through and you will not use it against me? Mm -hmm. Can I trust you with my weaknesses? You know, everyone has like a kind to flow. So can I trust mm -hmm. you with my weaknesses? Mm -hmm. So for me that's how I would choose friends and also like the things like oh you should be like you like going out and stuff like that it's not really like a big factor for me it's like those main principles that are in in the bible loyalty trust love you know are you a peacemaker like do you create drama or you know <laughs> I wouldn't appreciate if you're someone who creates drama because I don't create drama myself. So if you're a drama maker, then it's not going to work. Yeah. So would you say that before you can call somebody a friend, you do need to spend a lot of time with that person? Not a lot of time, because then how would you know that this person has these sort of characters that you're looking for? Sometimes when you not a lot of time you observe people from far mm -hmm. and other times you just click with that person mm -hmm. because there's something familiar about them yes. in you that you just click with mm -hmm. you see so sometimes it's along the way that you realize oh actually this person is like that mm -hmm. and you know you don't have to run away from someone just because they are not what you were hoping for and yeah. one more thing i feel like sometimes you can be friends with someone for two years mm -hmm. but then you realize that two years like you know what we're not going in the same path you can mm -hmm. feel free to remove yourself yes. from it mm -hmm. and let go and mm -hmm. there are many other people that you can meet and you can be friends with mm -hmm. doesn't mean you've been friends for five years or three years and it now clashes you think you have to stick mm -hmm. with them no, it yes. doesn't mean because i think that. to carry the the title of friendship i do think it takes it takes some time mm -hmm. you can't just meet somebody today and say oh this, that's my friend no. No. that's why I'm, i think i was coming to the point of do you really do you have to spend time with this person before you can actually say you, you are my friend? Yeah, I think you mm. really have to. Because you, a lot takes your know, friendship, sometimes you can, your life, also life can be stopped because of friendship. Absolutely. So what are some of the red flags that we need to look out for in friendships? Lying. <laughs> lying. She hates lying. <laughs> I just feel like the minute the friendship starts to feel like a liability, now I have to keep pushing. Exactly. And pushing. Is it false? 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 I shouldn't feel like, oh my gosh, here she comes. That's like, like a no. big great That's a red flag. Already from the beginning, I feel like, woo, there she is. Red flag. Because I should be like, hey. Mm -hmm. I'd say also when a person calls you just when you need something. Yes. You know? Yes. Watch out for those. They do get friends like that that only call yes. you when they're in trouble. When they're in trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or like you could like you say let's go out or something. And the whole conversation I've had one of those. I've had yeah. a lot of those. Mm -hmm. Where you like the whole conversation you'd be like, but I and when I try to tell you my story, you're like, yeah, but I was just saying you're like, what? So it's about that <laughs> so one side of friendship. It's about them. You were just pushing to get more attention from them, even though exactly. they're... Exactly. No, exactly. that's like right. that you're crawling for attention ah. from them. Like, no. Another just. red flag would be, like, lying is, like, sets the whole tone for everything. Like, not being committed. Like, you have to give to your commitment, you know? mm. That is another red flag. So if you say mm. you want to meet on Saturday... <laughs> <laughs> Because it hurts the people that I committed to, so I know. That's right. <laughs> if a friend does that, run away or bring it to the table. Say, "Hey, I bring it to the table." She's able to bring it to the table. Yeah, yes. just about <laughs> it. Oh wow, that's so funny. As I've done it a couple of times, but guys still love you. <laughs> and um, I think let's define what our friendship is. Our friendship. How do we define this? 
How do we how do each other or what? No, how do we define this kind of friendship that we have? It's mm -hmm. almost like family. It is like we are family. Yeah, now we're like family. Sisters, now like sisters. Yeah, sisters. Yeah, yeah. Like, I would, yeah. I would yeah. say, like now, I feel like I'm at home. There's nothing I feel like I need to like hide and mm -hmm. like this mm -hmm. most information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think also because like we we met in Christ. Yeah, we met in Christ. I think that's the basis of this friendship, yeah. and that just sort of makes the foundation. Us Strong. Sisters strong. and and yes. and it brings us closer together in that mm -hmm. sense. I think so. Christ is the strength of the cornerstone. Yeah, keeps us together. Yeah, it is with the challenges. It's the glue. <laughs> Our individual characters, we are both strong in our own way, mm -hmm. on our own mm -hmm. own different. Like actually, oh wow, we guys. <laughs> well, I feel like our strong personalities, like yeah, but it, Jesus it is also glued to this. Also. But Jesus is glued yes. to this, you know, because it's not easy to just love someone if you don't have Christ. You know? No, yeah. some of your weaknesses I will not be able to. Put. <laughs> 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 and also, Christ gives a heart of love, so <laughs> you, you get to <laughs> yes. Even as love, so mm. your lack of commitment is 150 times. <laughs> I can still be like, no, it's love. I think you should just pray about it. <laughs> to the Lord in prayer. <laughs> That's how we define friendship. Thank you so much for joining us. That's me, Bing Terry. And Marlon. And Patricia. Thank you so much.